All right, so today we're gonna to be going over a few of the uh, whitewater options that we have here at Outside World Outfitters. Um, we've got things from performance creakers like the Alpha 90 to uh, Jackson Rock Stars, which are more of a playboat. And uh, we're just gonna go over a few of the differences. While we've got the Alpha 90 up here, um, just wanna point out a few of its key features. It's a uh, performance creaker. What that means is it's meant to go fast. So for beginners, that's not so great because it goes quickly and it gets you into trouble quickly. But we'll go over a few other options that are gonna be a little friendlier for beginners as well. Um, what makes this a performance creaker is everything from the rocker, which is the slope of the front of the boat, to the uh, rear rocker and the uh, different displacement that it has uh, compared to your typical creakers. Um, where it skinnies out, still has a good uh, departure angle, and uh, all that makes it really easy to take big drops and uh, keeps it nice and nimble going between eddy lines and uh, doing really, really big rapids. So um, this is an excellent uh, boat for anybody who already knows what they're doing and is uh, looking for that next project somewhere like uh, the Green River or Cloudland Canyon, something like that. All right, next up we've got the Dagger Rewind. Uh, the Dagger Rewind is one of the most popular boats uh, to come out in the last year. Um, it's good for uh, beginners and experienced paddlers alike. Um, it's a half slice boat. So what that means is up front, it's got the normal creaker style with a high rocker and a lot of volume. And then in the back, the volume is cut way down so that you can get the tail underwater on an eddy line or uh, in any kind of feature doing uh, tricks and fun stuff like that. Rock splats, enders, you name it, you can do it. Um, what makes this uh, friendly for beginners mostly is uh, it shares a hull profile similar to the Dagger Mamba, which uh, is everybody's first boat. Um, kind of a, a funny joke in the, in the whitewater community. Everybody learns how to paddle on a Dagger Mamba, but um, this has the same hole profile, it's semi-planing, and uh, has really friendly edges, doesn't catch too hard, um, and uh, still performs very, very well. This has become one of my favorite boats um, to take out on the water. As you can see, this one from our rental fleet has seen a, seen a few battles, got a few scars, but it's a well-loved boat and a, a fantastic uh, addition to anybody's quiver. But next we're going to be talking about the Liquid Logic Delta V. Um, the Delta V comes in a couple of sizes, the 73 and the 88. This one is uh, the 73 specifically. That's in reference to its gallons of displacement. Um, so the uh, Delta V is a more friendly uh, or a, a more appropriate beginner creaker. Um, it's got a full volume front deck and back deck. Um, so it's uh, not similar to the half slice in any way really uh, it doesn't want to play doesn't really want to go fast like the alpha 90 so it's a very controlled boat um, easy to stay stable in and it kind of just does a lot of the work for you with the design layout of this boat um, what i will say about this is uh, unlike the other beginner boat the rewind that i talked about it does have a full displacement hole which means it's completely rounded and that's similar to a lot of other creakers. Uh, that's just for uh, better handling, coming in and out of eddies, uh, that sort of thing. Um, so if you're looking for a good beginner boat that can also take you through class four and even up to class five, this is the boat for you. Next, we're gonna be talking about the Jackson Rockstar. The Rockstar is uh, pretty much the quintessential play boat. Um, what makes it really good for playing is not only it's short, uh, whole length, but its whole design on the bottom is totally planing, got really nice sharp edges, good for carving, and uh, just sitting on a wave doing tricks and stuff. Um, Rockstars also come equipped with a couple uh, creature comfort options already included um, right out of the wrapping. Um, that includes the Sweet Cheeks system, which is a, a beanbag slash airbag system for your seat to have you sit up higher so your center of gravity is nice and high and also the happy feet system which is again a beanbag system to uh, keep your feet nice and comfortable in that cramped space up front in the boat um, 
surprisingly high volume playboats like this one usually uh, come in around 50 to 60 gallons and um, keeps you afloat a lot better than you would think. So if you're looking for something that uh, sits on a glassy wave or uh, something that you can throw around and flip even in flat water, this is a really good boat option for you. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna be talking about one of our uh, crossover boats available here at Outside World. This is the Dagger Katana. It's uh, quickly become one of my favorite crossovers. Um, what makes it so special is it's uh, vast versatility. You can take this thing on lakes and be totally comfortable, or you can take this thing down uh, up to class three whitewater and still have a really good time. Um, its rocker profile is similar to that of a creaker. So its front end comes up nice and high and uh, it keeps you up above all the whitewater features. It's got plenty of bungee strapping to put down whatever sort of uh, overnight gear you may want. Um, and it also has a dry storage uh, area in the back um, that's nice and easy access and actually uh, pretty hard to pop off by accident. Um, it's got this little tab here just to pop it off fairly quickly. It likes to peel a little bit, but uh, nice and uh, about 40 liters of storage right there. So. Um, if you're good at ultralight backpacking, this will be a really great boat for you to do some overnight trips as well. Um, it's got a drop down skeg for going into flat water and just pops down just like that. And when you want it up out of the way, you just pull on the string and set it back. Um, this is compatible with any skirt that goes on any dagger whitewater boat as well. Um, and all of the bulkhead and stuff is easily removable to put more storage items uh, up front. So if you're looking for an overnight or a long distance tour, this is a fantastic boat.